This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Starter motor replacement. Pull the hood release lever near the driver's side kick panel. Slide the safety latch and raise the hood upward. Loosen the cable nut, then disconnect the negative battery cable from the terminal first before disconnecting the positive cable. Flip up the protective cover, then loosen the nut and disconnect the positive cable from the battery. If the battery posts or cables need cleaning, clean them with a battery brush to ensure a clean connection. Clean up any debris from around the battery. Note that this step is better performed with the battery removed. Remove the hold down clamp from the battery. Carefully lift the battery out of the tray. Always keep the battery in an upright position to reduce the possibility of electrolyte spills. Release the cable from the clip and remove the plastic battery tray. Unscrew and remove the battery cable harness bracket bolt. Release the coolant reservoir from its bracket and position it safely aside. Unscrew and remove the metal battery tray retaining bolts, then remove the metal tray. Release the transmission fluid line from the clip. Unplug the starter solenoid actuator connector. Peel back the protective cover and unscrew the nut. Then, disconnect the battery cable from the starter terminal. Release the radiator hoses from the coupling clip, then position the hoses out of the way as necessary. Remove the starter motor mounting bolts. Remove the starter motor. Install the starter motor and thread in the mounting bolts. Tighten the mounting bolts securely. Connect the battery cable to the starter motor terminal. Tighten the nut securely Then secure the protective cover onto the terminator. Connect the starter solenoid actuator connector. Reposition the radiator hoses together and install the coupling clip. Attach the transmission fluid line into the retaining clip. Install the metal battery tray and mounting bolts and also the battery cable bracket bolt. Tighten these bolts securely. Install the coolant reservoir securely into the bracket. Install the battery plastic tray and attach the negative cable into the slot.